Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today at the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to attend the 17th consultation meeting of the leaders of Gulf Cooperation Council countries. His Majesty will also be heading Bahrain's delegation, participating in the GCC U.S. Summit and the Arab and Islamic U.S. Summit. Upon the invitation of the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. At the forefront of His Majesty's reception at Salman Air Base in Riyadh was the Governor of the Riyadh region, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Deputy Prince of Riyadh, Prince Mohammed bin Ab Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and a number of ambassadors and Bahraini embassy members. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep rooted historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He expressed thanks and appreciation. To the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque for his invitation to participate in the consultation meeting, the GCC US and Arab and Islamic US summits, alongside Arab leaders to deepen partnership and strengthen mutual cooperation. He hailed the efforts of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque to spread the values of coexistence. He also hailed the approach of the American administration and its keenness to consult and work with the GCC and Arab and Islamic countries to find solutions to the most important regional and international challenges, foremost of which is extremism and terrorism in all its forms. The mission of honor was head, headed by the Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh. His Majesty left the kingdom earlier, heading to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck, and Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and the Commander of the Fifth Fleet, Admiral Kevin Donegan. The meeting reviewed the historic ties between the two countries and means of developing them in all areas. His Majesty the King hailed the strong bilateral relations and the continuous advancement they keep witnessing in all areas, highlighting that these relations have always been based on mutual trust and respect at the benefit of both countries. His Majesty stated that he is looking forward to meeting U.S. President Donald Trump and the positive outcomes that would follow the meeting between GCC leaders and the American President that would serve the strategic interests of both sides and enhance security and stability in the region. His Majesty also noted that the, the role played by the American administration in maintaining security and stability of the region and the protection of international peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace, Bahrain's delegation to the Human Rights Council. He hailed the Kingdom's third national report, which was presented during the Universal Periodic Review. The report was praised by a number of countries participating in the Human Rights Session in Geneva. His Majesty noted the efforts headed the head and members of the delegation to showcase the real status of human rights in Bahrain and the support it receives at all levels, which reflects the Kingdom's keenness on consolidating and promoting the principles of human rights in all fields. He affirmed that Bahrain will continue to hold on to its heritage, which embodies the values of equality and love. The 27th session of the Working Group's Universal Periodic Review of Human Rights, held from the 1st to the 12th of May 2017, ended with a discussion of the reports of 14 states. Bahrain was the first country to submit and review its third national report. Bahrain received the second lowest number of recommendations among 14 countries after Finland. The Kingdom replied to all questions and topics raised and included data and information. The 60th session of the Committee Against Torture, which was held from the 18th of April to the 12th of May 2017, discussed reports of six countries, including the discussion of the second and third national reports of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the Convention Against Torture and other cruel, inhumane or degrading treatment or punishment during the meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, presented to His Majesty the members of the delegation, led by Assistant Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Faisal al Dosri. The delegation includes representatives from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Interior Ministry, and a number of governmental bodies, as well as members of the Legislative Authority. The Foreign Minister affirmed that the reform approach of His Majesty the King has established the principle of the promotion and protection of human rights and a democratic civil society that seeks security, safety, development, and justice for all. 
The success of the kingdom in presenting its national reports is proof of its commitment to international standards, which reflects Bahrain's commitment to the approach of credibility and responsibility in the field of human rights. He added that this approach is in line with His Majesty's reform project, which was launched during his prosperous era to guarantee the development of the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was received by the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. The meeting comes on the sidelines at the opening of the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha for the 2022 World Cup. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed to His Highness the Emir of Qatar the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa emphasizing the deep-rooted ties between the two countries, as well as their mutual keenness to develop these relations and elevate to new levels of cooperation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser allotted to the, the youth and sports relations between Bahrain and Qatar, which was set by the leadership of both countries, and expressed his aspirations to further advance them in the means that would benefit the youth and sports sector. He also expressed sincere congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani on the occasion of the opening of the Khalifa International Stadium, which is the first stadium to be completed within the 2022 World Cup stadium projects. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the opening ceremony of the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha. He affirmed Qatar's ability to host a successful 2022 World Cup in light of the Qatari government's immense efforts to prepare all the facilities in order to host this global championship. Sheikh Nasser witnessed the final match of Qatar's Amir Cup between Al Saad and Al Rayyan teams. He was accompanied by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar. His Highness affirmed that Qatar's success in hosting the World Cup will also be a success for all Arab countries. He expressed pleasure for opening the first stadium on which the games of the 2022 World Cup will be held, adding that it reflects Qatar's competence due to the great human and financial resources dedicated to hosting this global event. Sheikh Nasser held the efforts of the organizing committee to meet the requirements of FIFA. His Highness was received and bid farewell during his visit by the President of Qatar's Olympic Committee, Sheikh Joan bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani.